the dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, it is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. The voice of the voiceless has returned. the night of Punk's historic return. But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. This company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. The Almighty is here. Hey. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Destruction is now imminent. And from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Brock Strowman! Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles, Intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. 
More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition. Expect the worst because the monster is about to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. Trying to navigate the terrain of this fatal four-way match will be no easy task for any of these superstars. Set for competition, we see Santos Escobar. He can do it here. A great count and a cover. He kicks out instantly. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. You have to admit, that was a smart bit of offense, cutting their opponent down to size like that. Dominating shoulder tackle. A match like this can have so many twists and turns, Corey. What will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Each competitor responds differently to the rules being thrown out the window. The key is who can stay alert and remain in control. I wish someone would throw you out a window. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. He's looking a little off balance. Such physicality from Lashley. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Every strike more devastating than the last. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Oh, bear hug. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. He went right into that turnbuckle. And Lashley saw it was coming. Here we go! Down face first! Bobby Lashley stuck in his opponent! Here we go! Lashley! Matt slam with some attitude. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This match certainly has taken its toll. Keep it up with three other superstars will wear you down. He's lining him up. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Elbow drop. Pearson. And Punk gets countered there. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Right to the kidneys from behind. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh a right hand for good measure. are only going to get Escobar with a phantom driver! Exclamation delivered by Escobar. And now we see Punk. Big four. Oh, Punk. He's going for the pin. This could be it! Oh. Driven down. Cover. The pin's broken up. Desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Just one step ahead. And for a power slam, slips down the floor.
Hawk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Go to sleep. Grassley's in. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. That's it. Santos just ended things. He manages to kick out. What strength. You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. And my for the pin and the win! Yes! And kick out by Strowman! What do you have to do to put this guy away? Oh, great. We're in our ringside furniture here. Clear the announce desk. What a mess. Arm drag toss. He's looking shaky at best now. Yeah, not looking good at all. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. Oh, God. This spells trouble for Braun. He deflects it right back. Half kick right on point. Good Lord, what a shot. Someone's got to get control of this thing. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire. Now I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. Oh, I nice count that high, Saxton. Shut up. Shot to the gut will break things up. Oh, he launches himself in the ropes. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Hooked him up. And a suplex. A jarring impact. Things are looking dire for Lashley. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And did you hear the impact of that? Bad predicament right here. That's wrong. Strowman. And this one might be headed ringside. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a run. Oh, God, what force. The hammer drops. Literally, something might be broken. Oh, no. Driving? Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Now it's Braun Strowman. Oh, just turn that around. Attack. All the way up. Oh no. Good night. Doom Buster. Put it in the corner now. You're a noggy by Fuck. He turns it. Wasting no time. And he breaks the holes. All the way. Count. Now it's Escobar. Chop block turns the tide on their own. Uh oh, sweet dreams coming. Go to sleep. Can he put this one away? The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, right to the floor. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. He takes control. Oh, connecting on the DDT. He's got that look in his eyes. Spear! Lashley barrels through! Bobby has this in hand now. But then to Punk. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Escobar. Yet another. 
just breaking down the opponent. Oh my God! Poison run! Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. And Byron's gonna love this. Doom Buster! I think we're gonna see it! Escobar turns it around. He has him now. Oh, oh, Liner. Elevated. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Shoulder tackle. That didn't go Lashley's way. STO. Cover. And meanwhile, Punk. Ooh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Evading offense. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. to the midsection, setting them up. Flipping pile driver, spike. Looking for the victory. Two, no, two count. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Shifts it back onto him. Uh-oh. He was waiting for him to make his move. An agile escape. Oh, this should be it. Punk with his opponent up. Good night, GTS. That move was planning meets execution. The almighty roaring back from the brink of defeat. How is he still in this? Punk took his best shot, gave him everything he had, but just couldn't get the pin. And my word, this has been a match of the ages. We're going to end it here. Meanwhile, we have Braun Strowman. Escape the attack. Sent to the outside. CM Punk with a jar. Yuranagi, look at this. Strowman with nowhere to go. Can Strowman make it out of this? No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Are we on the verge of a monster being slayed? Springboard! Springboard clothesline! Oh, this should be it. Pop with his opponent up. GTS connects. I think that finally closes the book. Two. Meanwhile, Escobar. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. Escobar has this wrapped up. Two. <laughs> Quick thinking from Lashley. Strowman quickly moves. Oh, what a DDT. 
look at this, just what a barrage of stops. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Lashley way up high. Take off. Oh, man, what a splash. For the win. Two. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, the finale to this intense fatal four-way match a top to bottom action-packed match from all four men yeah these guys really put on a barn burner This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. You know, guys, as talented as this superstar is, I think ambition might have clouded his judgment. Reigns is in God mode as we speak. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. And his opponent representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Rose! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? 
Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT competing at his all-time best. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. And Roman Reigns is really taking things to a new level since he ascended to the mantle of the tribal chief. I believe on a number of occasions he's even said that we work for him. His name isn't on my check, but I can't deny that Reigns has reached his full potential. He carries himself differently. He competes differently. He's definitely achieved a certain level of greatness. A very vindicated Reigns looking to be acknowledged here tonight. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov, a ferocity that he can barely contain. That comes out in full force when he's inside the ring. He's truly like a man possessed. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Hoist it up. Oh, man. Nice suplex. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Big strike across the back. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Planning on what to do next. And you can't get his foot the pin. Oh, maybe. He nearly avoids the count. Very close. Th maybe not. Maybe not. Quick shoulder up. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Reigns has always been a powerhouse. How crucial is avoiding those big maneuvers for anyone hoping to defeat him? It's the whole ball game, Cole. Reigns can be whittled down, but you have to avoid that one big attack because it is a game changer. You make him miss, you have your chance. Defiant counter to Reigns. Able to reverse that one. I don't know if we're going to have any taste buds left after that. Reigns' lack of mercy being met in kind there. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. DDT! Can't quite get him there. Was coming. This feud is starting to become one of those that will go down in history. Flashes like this are what puts names in the Hall of Fame, Cole. I'm just glad we get to watch it firsthand. Plunge oh. onto the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to. Roman Reigns so dominant. Oh, guillotine choke. Well, this isn't going to win the. The guillotine locked in. This is all. No, it was an incredible counter. Holy, meet the barricade. Catches a punch. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Just disrespectful. And look at Dragunov's bloody face now. <laughs> Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Here he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. 
Great wherewithal to... Not allowing that to go on any longer. Pulls up and a boot right to the face. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Oh, man, targeting the leg. Getting him into the corner. Oh, sharp knee. And the Tribal Chief being met with hostility there. And the intensity in every move Dragunov delivers doesn't seem to be wavering one bit. Dragunov messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Oh, what a knee. Right to the gut. Foot to the midsection. So ruthless. And Dragunov is showcasing his arsenal. Reigns just being whipped. Dragunov looking to end this thing as soon as possible. Devastating Super H-Bomb. Exclamation delivered by Dragunov. Two. What in the world? The Tribal Chief digging down deep and fighting through it. You might not respect his methods, but you have... Oh! Nobody hold on that. Solid punch. Dropped with a suplex. a tremendous kick out and you have to think that the mad russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out and after all that roman reigns still had from the top elbow drop good lord that's gotta be it two count Four. well after winning the matchup out of the ring and Time to hit the show. What, 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 what's he doing out here? Yeah, what? Oh, oh, hey, come on now! What, the, the guy just had a match. And... Thanks yeah, for well, the superstar. superstar that won. Is he going to let it? Let this guy get away with this crap? Sit all the way to the outside. Thank goodness. Noble display by this man. the power of positivity only like he can
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Let's New go. Day go. from Ghana, West Africa. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi. A man some would credit with the creation of the power of positivity. And Kofi Kingston has such a special bond with the WWE Universe. Basically, when Kofi wins, they win. And you can never, ever count Kofi Kingston out. The most loyal man in WWE. Here comes Stax. And his opponent, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stax Lorenzo. The Don. Right-hand man. Stax is not a man you want to cross. Incredibly athletic and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to climb to the top of WWE. Yeah, and there's an especially dangerous feeling when he's in the ring. Stax treats every match like a turf war. Stax has two educations: one from the streets and one from school. That's what makes him twice as smart. Well, it's that sharp IQ that's helped him conquer the streets and WWE. Stax is a man on a mission, doing whatever he can to make sure his family is protected and provided for. For Stax, this is all sink or swim, and he intends to swim. Looks like we're about to see just how well Stax swims any moment now. And he's facing off against Kofi Kingston, a man who always has the power of positivity on his side. As cheesy as that is, there's no denying what Kofi's been able to accomplish with it. Ouch! Uh-oh, John Baker! Call the dentist! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. Oh, he yeah, had Kofi scouted. Oof. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Nice cross body. Is it enough? And there's the kick out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Oof. Kofi Kingston is about as difficult of an opponent as they come. So what's the strategy for someone with Kofi's toughness, his resolve, his athleticism? Well, Kofi's one tough cookie, but eventually he'll crumble, especially if he underestimates your stamina. Be relentless. Stay on Kofi. Don't give him an inch and hope that he runs out of steam before you do. Oh, my, what a splash. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Don Stax fights back. Up and around, down with a tilt-the-world backbreaker. Placed it over into a suplex. Ah, uh, takedown, and now punches right, teeing off. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Uh-oh, look out. Drive-by, target square on Kofi. He's in trouble. Was coming there. They've been pushing each other for weeks now, and I can't believe it's reached this point. Yeah, Cole, when a feud gets this intense, it's hard to come back from it. This is something they'll carry for years. He's returning fire. Whoa, leaping through the air. As their opponent hooked a couple of jabs, single underhook suplex. Nice. Ooh, well measured. Dax gets countered. 
Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Ah, oh, and Stax fights back. Oh, and a forearm smash. Looking for a high-risk move. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. From the top, double axe handle. He knows how to avoid contact. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Kofi. SOS! Cover! Two! It's over. What an impressive win for Kofi Kingston. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston! Stats getting hit with the loss here. Kofi riding a wave of positivity to a victory here tonight. Uh -huh. Nice display here. Oh, oh maybe not. I see that one coming. Right. Well, m maybe if they showed some class and accepted the handshake, they wouldn't have been punched in the face. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. He turns it around. <laughs> Ran right through that close wow. line. Oh. Good God, man. Jeez Louise. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Oh, no, sent flying. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Look out. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at all. Able to get the advantage here. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. The Prince telling his opponent, come get you some. Kick right to the back of the leg. And a kick. That's unnecessary. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. And Gallows expected that. Oh, what a close line. He's lost some of his win now. Those heavy hands of Gallows getting the job done. Left by the turnbuckles. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. 
With a high-risk style like Finn Balor's, the smartest thing to do is get the advantage of him and simply bide your time until an opening arises to make him crash and burn. Yes, timing is everything. Again, taking flight. What? No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Using the elbow as a weapon. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Face first off the knee. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, because Finn knows just when to shift into that more dangerous gear. I've asked around the locker room, and a lot of people believe that this rivalry has gone past the point of no return. There's absolutely no love lost between these superstars, and I don't imagine things settling down anytime. Ever. Extraordinary offense from Balor. Finn is reaching that other level. Saw that coming. DDT! Sling blade by Finn Balor. Farms for the second rope. Driving down. took the worst of that on his face. And it looks like there's a cut, too. Oh, man, what a strike! Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Cut off with a kick to the gut. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. Watch oh, snap there. That's a pick. From way up, diving double axe handle. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Incoming. Axe handle finds its target. Took a gamble. Uh-oh. Drag. He's going for it all. Ben Balor up top. Balor. Finn got all of it. There's two. And that does it. Finn Balor captures the win. Balor Club celebrates. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
accompanied by Kevin Owens from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. Listen to this reaction for Sami Zayn. I still don't understand why the WWE Universe insists on singing Sami Zayn's entrance theme. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Fraser sure knows how to soar. And his opponent from Jersey, the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Fraser! Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Fraser was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins, perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Fraser's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil may care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully, Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. And Sami Zayn is looking fired up tonight, ready to display his heart. That heart has been a major factor in propelling Sammy to the top levels of superstardom in WWE. Sammy's been a relentless competitor since the very start of his career. He's had the odds stacked against him constantly and has been determined to break through every single time. And Zayn is looking even more determined than ever in this match. And we'll see if he's ready for the aerial style of Nathan Frazier, a man whose high-flying abilities have earned him quite a reputation in the WWE already. I don't know if you can fully prepare for the style of Frazier Saxton. He possesses such tremendous speed and agility. We've seen a lot of competitors struggle just to keep up. Kick. Oh, with authority! We all know that Sammy has the ability to take flight in the ring and land some explosive aerial attacks. How do you counter that? You've got to ground Sammy. Keep him off the top rope. Bring him into the middle of the ring and take him down to the mat or target his legs and nullify his ability to climb the ropes. Whichever strategy you choose, the bottom line is you cannot let Sammy get airborne. Crank in the head. And Nathan got bottled up there. What a suplex. it better no sign of hesitation and that risk gained big rewards toss back into the ring back elbow smash nothing fancy this could be it cover shoulders up still has enough energy for the simple kick out Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Oh, my God. And finds a counter. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Uses the edge of the knee. Shot after shot. They're slamming their face down. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Stop in the leg. Here he goes for the win. He forces a break before the count of two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. What an incredible moonsault. He's looking a little weary now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Like a drop kick. German suplex. Big forearm. Mm. 
Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Same dodges, just in time. Sami Zayn, such a unique character, such a unique skill set. Look at him go! Sami on the verge of victory here. Some teeth. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh, oh! We're undoubtedly nearing the end. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Nathan is undergoing a thrashing. Nathan's got to slow down this assault. Unbelievable athleticism. will just have to accept this loss. Sami Zayn brought that fire and seized his moment to capture the victory. Sami Zayn raises his game every time and finds a way to win. Time to think big. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. A former Mr. Money in the Bank, went on to cash it in to become world champion. Well, Big E is certainly no stranger to success, and I predict we see more of it tonight. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. Shinsuke Nakamura! We are 
taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Biggie in action, a superstar who loves to have fun. But as we all know by now, behind the laughter lives a dangerous competitor. Oh, yeah, Michael. Biggie is a bad, bad man. And you cannot go into a match taking him lightly. That would be a recipe for disaster for sure, Byron. Biggie may love to joke around to be a big goof, but things are about to be no laughing matter here in this one. But we all know Shinsuke Nakamura is always ready for a fight. Anytime, any place. The king of strong style is. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Big E not backing down one bit. From behind, back suplex. Close line. Big E is obviously known for his size and power, but he's also surprisingly agile. Corey, what do you think is Big E? And here's a cover. He kicks out with authority. A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Right across the larynx. Big E is really dialed in right now. Big E is relying on that power and it's giving him the advantage right now. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. On the top. Whoa, look out. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Round the waist. Power! Spine buster! Look at the knees, one after the other. Practically never-ending blows, coming at full force here. Spinning kick to the gut. Big E's focus perhaps being tested there. Yeah, Shinsuke's offense looks finely tuned there. Big forearm. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Here's the snapmare, followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. He must have seen that coming. Close line knockdown. Here we go. Come back time. The superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Oh, Shoulders down. in sight. Scooped up, took the world slam. And he's out of there in a nick of time. 
He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Into the axe kick. Nakamura is so elusive. That move looks to have stunning Big E. You really can't overstate the sheer force that Nakamura can hit you with. Oh, foot just stomping down. Big E responds. He'll head to the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Saving us from having to sit through that. Leg sweep from the outside. Very clever. And it's all over. Big E gets the win. Here is your winner, Big E. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, countouts happen. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career.
Is he prepared for an opponent with the family pedigree and natural talent of Cody Rhodes? That's a great question, and luckily for us, we won't have to wait long to get the answer. Cody Rhodes, a nightmare of a competitor set for battle. Guys, I don't know if there's a more cunning superstar in all of WWE than Cody. Dashing and dastardly, that's Cody's bread and butter with a little smash mouth style to boot. Oh, 100%. Don't take your eyes off Cody in this one. And with all that said, we cannot undersell Braun Breaker in this one, guys. This is a superstar who always pushes himself to a whole new limit. So we should be in for something special here. Yeah, I suppose there is something special about dogged intensity, Saxton. Not that you'd know anything about being intense or special. Uh-oh. Counter! And now there's an opening. Picking the leg. Oh, we got to see it. Down it. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Rhodes denies the attack. Bam! Springboard roundhouse. Good night. Up and... I have been waiting for it the whole time. And a kick out before even one there. A little over eager with that cover. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Down with a gourd buster. Knowing that Braun Breaker was literally bred for success, that has to get in his opponent's head, right, Corey? While there's no doubt that WWE success runs deep in his veins, Breaker is still very early into his WWE career. Even with his current accolades, Breaker still has a lot to learn and a lot of room to grow. While that's scary for future opponents, it's an opportunity for the guy facing him tonight. And that's enough to shake anybody's belief in themselves, even Cody Rhodes. That was just a small sample of Breaker... From way up the top, and down. He can end it here. And he manages to kick out at one. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Disaster kick. Frankensteiner. Nicely done. Vicious right forearm. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. The military press into the power slam. Serious jeopardy for Rhodes. Makes the cover. Stopping the ref's count too. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh. Power bomb position. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. <laughs> Elbow thrown, saying not today. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. Way to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Shoulder up before three. Breaker just shattering expectations. Still ready for more after all that. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Watch out. Suicide dive! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. A pedigree! This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Standing moonsault gets all of it. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring.
Gets him with the counter. Look out! A high angle German! Measured up and full drop. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Braun Breaker getting the crowd riled up right now. He's trying to intimidate his opponent. And Braun Breaker gets the win. Here Maybe that will set him up. And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud. Here comes the Scottish warrior. A man whose mean streak grows by the day. McIntyre answers to no one and fights only for himself. Yeah, Drew is hell-bent on having his arm raised tonight, and I would not want to be the one to stand in his way. chosen one always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in wwe well drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be and he will do anything to stay there well we know drew is rarely ever in a good mood and i got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight prepare to see a heavy hard-hitting affair and his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and the NXT Champion, the Viper. Right now, he has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level. Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight, holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now, we are witnessing dominance on another level. You do not want to get into a striking exchange with Drew McIntyre if you hope to survive this matchup.
And from the look of things, Randy Orton's really been having a lot more fun lately. He has been, Cole, and that's what's made him even more dangerous. He's feeling himself. He's looser. He's more confident. Not that he ever lacked confidence, but he's not carrying the weight of the world anymore. I'd love to know his secret as long as it doesn't require me to RKO somebody. Yeah, and then you have the epitome of someone who's come looking for a fight and won't stop whether he's satisfied or not. Drew McIntyre. You are right, Corey. Drew does not care who he is standing across the ring from and where the fight is. He just wants to fight. He makes it no secret. That is for sure. Watch the quickness on this. Oh, man. Bang! Snap suplex. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. And shoulders are down. Fending off a two count there. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And he was ready for Orton. And McIntyre puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. That could be the torch that lights the fire under McIntyre. Launches. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Yeah, we know what an in-control Orton means, and it is nothing good for McIntyre. Corey McIntyre and Orton are longtime rivals. They both traded wins and even the WWE Championship. What do you think the key is for either man to gain a true advantage here? Well, they both obviously can't forget their history, Cole, but they also can't be stuck in the past, which is where I think McIntyre has the advantage over Orton. McIntyre has an uncanny ability to soldier on and focus on the road ahead, where Orton can get tripped up trying to exact the match. Endless blows! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Big punch finds its mark. Very effective. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Put in a position now. Ooh, right to the throat. And frustration might be starting to set in. And he's taking this to the outside now. Compromised position here. Uh-oh. No! Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Boom! Throws the opposition back into the ring. McIntyre counters with power. He switches it back around. With the fist press, and now here come the bombs. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Got their opponent up. Driven down snake eyes. Oh, Randy Orton looking for Old Faithful. Orton with that patented offense as effective as ever on McIntyre. Stalking a downed opponent. And a forearm right to the face. Belly to belly. Cover! Two! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Down to Orton, and a double axe handle smash. You can see the dominance on display by Orton. Orton is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Wow, wow. Up, Stanley. Vicious right forearm. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. 
Uh-oh. Somersault plancha! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. Oh, impressive counter. is not looking so good here. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. The audacity! That was mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. McIntyre gets away from that. Right there will rock you. They need to be aware of a count out right now. And he tosses it back in now. The voice is clearly telling Orton to put Drew down. Wow, and now McIntyre is wearing a crimson mask. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. I'm stunned. Stunned at the guts Drew McIntyre is showing us right now. Shows out quick. quick. He may get the three count right here. Makes a cover. He kicked out at two. There is no quit inside the heart of Randy Orton. That was supposed to be it. No one is more shocked right now than McIntyre. That'll stop you in your tracks. We know what comes next. Hung up on the rope. Oh, such a precise maneuver from the Viper. Nothing kind or gentle about that, Saxton. This could spell doom for Mac. McIntyre. McIntyre took Orton to his limit, but in the end, the Viper struck harder once again. I highly doubt this is the last time we'll see McIntyre and Orton collide, but if it is, both men certainly have something to be proud of. Well, I can't blame him for oh. being a bit hesitant, and that's why. A sucker punch. Why do you have to do that? Well, m maybe if they showed some class and accepted the handshake, they wouldn't have been punched in the face. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Break the 
with submission, and the left hands will do it. is a tremendously gifted striker. What do you think is the best chance to defeat him one-on-one? -on -one? Treat it like a fight. Cross is going to look to brawl and throw hands, so stick and move is the name of the game. Just beware, he's got a good motor on him, too. One step ahead of Cross. And it's set right into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponent's kick. Oh, well-placed kick. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Delivery. Quick pin attempt by Noam Dar. Throws up the shoulder. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. And Cross is being taken apart here. So much for Cross's motor. His ability to brawl and throw hands is getting cut off here. Down for a European arm breaker. Oh, solid kick across the back. Cross fends him off. He might be able to start mounting something here. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. Assailing the joints of the leg. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Forearm club. This past couple of weeks have really hit the gas in terms of this rivalry. Sometimes people can just get under your skin, Cole. That's what's been happening here. It's kind of like an itch. Neither side can fully scratch right now. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, that can flatten you. All ready to go. Oh, right to the back of the neck. What impact. Got to wonder if that keeps him down or fires him up. See how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning. More like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at